I'm the teacher, I click on the link. If I'm the student, I come to Schoology, I click on the link. So everyone's coming in here to click on the link. It pops open Teams. Teachers are OK. You can click Open in Microsoft Teams. Students will be using the web app instead. So we'll just open in Teams. All right. So now you're ready to start your video meeting each and every day once you click on that link as a teacher. Only you can click on this button to create the meeting. Only you as a teacher can post anything. Uh, the students are muted uh, and chat is turned off. So as a teacher, to get your video meeting open each and every day, just click this meeting button up here at the top. Before you meet now, so be a good idea where you see add a subject, go in and put the date that this meeting will be taking place on, and then click meet now to get your video meeting started for your class. And now we'll start to see as the students start to join in. And it's only going to be your authentic students in this course that will be joining. And no more allowing guests. So let's see as the students start joining in. As the students start joining in, they'll be automatically set as an attendee. Students set at this role automatically as attendee means that they will not have the opportunity to share uh, their screen and they will not be able to invite anyone else to the meeting. You as a teacher can give those properties to make them a presenter when you want them to share. So let's see when a student joins in what it looks like. The student would automatically be moved right here in the waiting lobby. You still have to approve them, but again, there's just your authentic real students that are coming in uh, to approve them from the lobby. No more guests. Once you approve them, then you do have a couple of properties for attendees. You as a teacher can click on the three dots and you can mute them, you can remove them, and you can make them a presenter if you want them to share their screens. You still have the share button to share your screen that you can share your desktop or a PowerPoint, and you can still record the meetings with the three dots on the toolbar and click start recording if you like to keep a recording of this meeting. As a teacher, you can still use the meeting chat. When you use it as a teacher, you can still post. Your students will be able to see them. They just won't be able to post or type in the chat with the settings that are turned on in the video meeting now. So, But they'll be definitely able to see what you post in there. And any website links they'll be able to click on. Just remember, as a teacher, if you are posting, that does make an opportunity for students to be able to respond back to that with the emojis or with the ability to create a poll within that meeting. So you might be very mindful of that not to post anything in the meeting chat. And you can see if there was a guest that tried to get in, they would always be waiting in the lobby uh, and the teacher you will not be admitting anyone that's coming in as a guest unless you worked with that student previously in communication. Otherwise, you can just dismiss anyone in the guests or just keep them in the lobby. They will not interfere with your meeting. When you're all done as a teacher, you can use the people button right here on your video meeting toolbar and you can still download the attendance for the video meeting for that day. Just click the three dots and click download attendance list and it will be an Excel spreadsheet that you can sort alphabetically by last name. Remember to do this before you as the teacher end the meeting. To end the meeting, you will need to do it a proper way to completely end the meeting so no students are left in it. So you do that either by the three dots on the meeting toolbar where you will select end meeting or if you have the newer update of Teams, the red end call button will actually now say leave and there'll be a little drop down menu, a little drop down arrow that you'll click on and that will now have the end meeting in that location. So the original version is with the three more dots on the Teams video toolbar. Click End Meeting. The newer version, the red End Meeting call will now say Leave with a little drop down arrow where you can choose End Meeting. And you'll definitely know if you ended the meeting correctly because when you click this accidentally, it will bring you back to the screen where it looks like the join button's still there. So that's a good giveaway that you haven't ended the meeting correctly. And when you come to the screen, this is what it would look like if you properly ended 
the meeting, there will be no join button. And just to share again that your students will not have access to type in your video chat or in the Teams chat that's located here. Uh, as a teacher, just be mindful that the assignments and grades, we're not connecting this to PowerSchool. We're still using Schoology for that connection and all assignments and quizzes. So we're just using this pathway for you to start your video meeting with a little bit more moderation settings for the chat. And again, the very next day, just go to Schoology, click on your link in the top right hand corner, click meet to start that next day video meeting. If you were wanting to open up the chat a bit more for your daily video meetings with the students, again, just be uh, careful to go over your classroom guidelines, classroom agreements, expectations, and consequences for posting inappropriate uh, material in those discussions with your students if you are opening up the chat. Um, so you can change the settings. One of the main settings that you would change is the general channel in your team for your class here in Teams. You click the three dots, manage channel. And when this is set right here, no matter if you mute or unmute the students in the other setting, this would always take ownership in your actual team and in your uh, video meetings and teams. Uh, so even if you unmuted students, if you don't change this, they still will be blocked from uh, using the chat. So you would have to open that up to this one. Then in this three dots with the class name right here, you would click there, manage the team. You would click members and guests. And here you can always toggle to turn off the mute. Now they can chat. Um, or you can toggle and they cannot chat. Even with the previous setting already set to allow, this would now be your overall guide for if you're allowing the chat or not allowing the chat. So if you do have it open, just be mindful. The students will be able to post here down at the bottom and they'll be able to post within your video meeting as well. Again, you can always lock that back up. Just going right here, the three dots, manage team, members and guests, and muting all of the students. We were showing this general channel, those options here, to very much keep that security of everything being uh, locked down for any chat or any post by any student. Uh, so that's why that was originally set that way for this permission.